Um, hey guys, it's Risham. How are you doing? And today, I'm going to teach you how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. So now, the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube is very simple. And as you can see, it's quite small. And um, yeah, so if you already know how to solve 3x3, three three, this would be very, very easy for you to do. And if you know the OLL and PLL and the Friedrichs method, should be a cinch. So um, the algorithm that I'm going to be using is only uh, like three or f you only need to learn three algorithms. One is from OL PLL, one is from OLL, one is from standard algorithm, and um, yeah, so three algorithms. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to solve one side, just like on three by three. We're going to solve the top side. Um, I'm going to use white probably. And what we're going to do is instead of having all of these middle cubes, it'll only be corners. So it's pretty interesting. So let's get started. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a white piece. So we found a white piece right here. And this is white, orange, and green piece. We'll find another white piece, white, red, and green. I'm going to probably move it over and make sure you're moving it on the bottom layer, on the bottom, because that doesn't mess up any of the work we've done, though we haven't done any right now, but in the future as well. And um, so we need to find a piece that matches this. For example, this is green and this has green. So this would fit. We put it up, just kind of it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's put it up. Uh, next piece. This is orange, so this will fit. You can bring it over and put it back in. Then the next piece. And now we're going to use another algorithm. And I expect you to know the sides on what to do. And if you don't know what to do, uh, what, what an algorithm is on the Rubik's Cube, um, please go on my video. I'll leave the link in the description for the 3x3 three three first tutorial part, and that'll teach you some stuff. And um, so the algorithm we're going to put in the corner is R inverted, down inverted, R, D. And that's a sex successfully put in the first layer. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to solve the top side. So to do the top side, we're going to use an OLL algorithm or also on the standard algorithm. And this algorithm is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So it may be familiar to you. And if it's not, then you can use it. And we're going to just, uh, so like I'll show you different cases on what can happen. So first case is if there's no yellow on the top, what we're gonna do is we're going to position one cube of the yellow color, the opposite color of white, in this square right here. And we're going to perform the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that left us with one cube. We're going to rotate that into the bottom left. We're going to perform the algorithm again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that uh, solved the top. The bottom solved, the first layer, and the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to get another color. In this case, we got this color, blue. And we're going to put blue at the back, like headlights when you're doing OLL and PLL. And now we're going to use one of those algorithms, which is R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2. And that solved the entire Rubik's Cube. Or, oops, do a U2. And yep, that solved it. I'm going to demonstrate this one more time. And yeah, so let's give it a good scramble. And we scrambled it. Let's go with white again. Find a white cube, white, green, and red. We're going to find another piece that relates to that piece. 
found a white, green, and orange. Since green's on this side, we're going to bring this over to this side. Then we're going to perform the algorithm, which is R inverted, down inverted, R, D, R inverted, down inverted, R, and that solved it. Two more cubes, and for these ones, it's red and orange. So you found an orange piece, going to rotate it over to the correct side, going to perform the algorithm. R inverted, down inverted, R, D. And that solved that piece. One more to go, and I'll show you another trick that you might have seen before. This is, uh, if the white is facing towards you, then you can perform this. Basically, move the down right here, move the right down, and move it back up, and that'll solve it. First layer is done. Now we're going to solve the top. Conveniently for us, the one piece is already there. And I'm going to show you another case. Um, so let me try to. I showed you the previous case back then. Now let me try to show you another case, which is. Okay. Uh, which is this. Now there's two yellows on each side. What we're going to do is we're going to place them both on each side. We're going to perform the following algorithm, which is the algorithm we used before. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. That gave us one piece. Now we can do it again. Solve the top. And yeah, so that's another case. And it's pretty straightforward. Just go until you have one piece. And then put in the bottom left and perform the algorithms again and again until you get it. So now in this time, this time, we actually do not have a pair of two cubes. So we're just gonna do the algorithm. R prime F R prime B2 R F prime R prime B2 R2. And that gave us a pair. Going to move it over to its correct side, face it towards the back, and do the algorithm again. R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2, and that solved the 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube. Um, thanks for watching. I'll leave the algorithms in the description below. And yeah, I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.